Oh, I got to uh, do fake cocaine again. <laughs> that was good. Reminded me of doing real cocaine. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I'm Sam Sylvia, and this is Glow. Sorry, what's Glow? Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Doing a period wrestling comedy with 15 people that's a half hour was just from a production standpoint insane. Um, but we had to figure out a way to train all the girls and teach them how to wrestle because we really wanted them to do their own wrestling. And we wanted the period to be very, very, very specific, you know, not cartoon 80s, but this sort of dusty 70s into 80s that felt a little grittier and a little bit more real. And we wanted the look to be very cinematic. And so all those things together, it was incredibly challenging. This is my first Hollywood party. There are drugs in the fucking robot. Thank you. Wrestling is about type. You're a sexy party girl. You're an Arab. You mean stereotype. Yes, bingo, exactly. You're a big black girl. The fuck you say? Oh. On the actual original show, Glow, those women created extraordinarily out there wrestling characters, and they were so committed to them. And their hair and makeup was wild. Yeah. The costumes still always had sort of an element of homemade-ness right. to them. Yeah. Um, but it's it's outrageous. Yeah. I actually tweeted a bunch of my fans like to get their parents to write their experiences of growing up in the 80s, of mm. being a girl in the 80s was like. Just because I think you can't learn everything from TV and film because it's not real. So just getting those like specifics was uh, was what I was trying to do. Mm. Oh, I got to uh, do fake cocaine again. That was good. Reminded me of doing real cocaine. I got to smoke fake cigarettes. That was great. Reminded me of smoking real cigarettes. Got to walk around in black cowboy boots, just like I used to in the 80s. <laughs> Did you? I had a pair of black cowboy boots, yeah. Nice. Early 80s, yeah. Okay. So for me, it was, uh, it was like time travel. <laughs> but only the good parts. Like I, you know, I don't know that I was that fashionable, so neither was the character. So it was, uh, for me, it was, it, it was kind of fun. We got to shoot this thing in like five weeks. This could either feel dinky or it could feel epic. So let's give them what? Blood. Tits. Storytelling. Storytelling. We had incredible stunt doubles, and it should be said that that you will likely see them in the show. Right. We often tag teamed with them. Yeah. Yeah. We also shot for a long period of time. We would shoot the wrestling sequences, you know, from a million different angles. And it's just not really sustainable to do it just us that whole time for 10 hours. We would break our little actress bodies. But it was a real point of pride for us, I think, that we wanted to be able to do any move we were going to choreograph for our characters. We wanted to be able to execute them. Sometimes it was just a matter of, you know, we would save up the big moves. We might tell our directors, you know, I have five suplexes in me. Yeah. So choose your shots wisely. Tell me when it's time, you know. Lady wrestlers, I get it. Women can do anything men do, blah, blah, blah. We'll get wild, wild, wild. How'd that look? I got chills. Yeah, you would. So you think I got a funny face? We're empowered. We're the heroes. <laughs> You want the show to happen. This is the only place I get to do what I want to do. We both play actresses, mm -hmm. um, so it was sort of easy to draw on personal experience and personal frustration. Definitely. Um, of, you know, the privilege and sort of drawback of doing what you love for a living mm. um, and how sometimes that can be transformative and sometimes it can feel like you're selling your childhood journal to people who don't want to buy it. Definitely.